So we start with the protocol then, as usual with every match. We'll have the Kasafa flag, we'll have the uh, Confederation of African Football flag as well. And then the referees will lead out the two teams onto the surface here at King's Wellatini Stadium. It's just on the south side of Durban. If you know about the KwaZulu Natal layout, we go down the south coast from Durban, the, where the old airport is. We'll be just a little bit inland from where the old airport used to be. And uh, already we've had that one match where Botswana beat the Seychelles by one goal to nil earlier on. Entertaining match it was as well. Saw some good performances in that match, and it's going to be interesting to see. Pause that thought for a moment. Lovely play in the middle. Another chance for Mario. Doesn't find the laces. He wanted to place the ball. You can see his idea there. Wanted to connect the ball well, but he didn't have enough power. But then again, he did hit the target. Going to be Lipua, who will have an opportunity. 22-year-old on debut, but it's not. It is uh, Mario. No, it's Megu. He's taken a few times off the ground. That's a wonderful free kick from the Angolans. No chance for Bahad. Palangas Negras to break the deadlock. Beautiful free kick there from Megu. Top corner. Goalkeeper there couldn't do anything. Just over the wall. It's precision there. Not much there to Fahad Kutu, but uh, he came across and thrust out the big right hand. One thing that Angola have to guard against, though, Checo, is complacency. And we've seen that also in the, in the first half. Whenever they, they were too much in control, they started losing the ball very cheaply. As Mego again, proving that he's not only a right-footed player. The Nielsen! Julinho brought down by Fahad. A, a, no reason for the goalkeeper to have brought down Julinho, but Julinho goes down. Lapua for Angola to make it 2 0, sends the keeper the wrong way. Angola now in command. Well, not a bad celebration either. I'm glad that we're back with seeing celebrations again. You know, whenever, whenever there's VAR, we hardly see celebration because you score, you have to wait for VAR to confirm that it's a goal or not. No easy penalty when the keeper's the other way. It does uh, look. Uh, Rather easier than it was. Uh, Fahad looks over his shoulder, the 26-year-old goalkeeper. That's two goals. But the pressure continues. This is Peter once again. We almost sold a little dummy there to Zamia. Rizal can't find Lepua. Oh, but the ball's been given away. Smashing shot with the outside of the boot for Guinho. On debut, the Interclub 28-year-old will make it 3-0. Look, he was switched on. You can see here, uh, Komoro's trying to clear the ball, the clearing straight to the opponent there. And uh, good improvisation there by Huguinho, making sure that, you know, the ball is on my outside of the boot. I need to use this player to bend it over him so that the goalkeeper should make a save. And that's a great goal from Angola. Got the right foot underneath it, and on the outside of the right foot, curling it past Fahad. He's beaten for the third time in the match there. Opportunity to pull one back here for the Kamals almost immediately. The Kamals on the scoreboard. And the cap's back down to two. It's the substitute, Ali Nassim, who scored his third international goal. It's only his seventh appearance at international level. That's a very good conversion rate. Yeah, you look at that. Um, he wanted to control the ball, but that was a good ball. Played inside there. Look at the defensive error there with the goalkeeper. No communication with his defender. And Nassim punishing him. 